Hey, Nurse Awesome. So, holy cow, school is definitely back in session. Getting tons of uh, emails from you guys asking questions about things. I'm answering those just as quickly as I can. Um, one of the things a lot of you are expressing concern about and a ton of fear over that just doesn't need to be there is learning this thing called the nursing process. And, you know, it's it's really a simple thing. It's something you do every single day. It's just not something you think about when you're doing it. So I wanted to make a video on my way out the door to work, um, see if I can address that and alleviate a little bit of fear right quick because, golly, there's lots of stuff in nursing to be afraid of. Um, you know, CPR, pulling arterial lines out of people, um, other crazy stuff like that. The nursing process is definitely not something that I want anybody to be afraid of. So let's go. Um, what exactly is the nursing process? So this is really very simple. This is just a fancy way to say, hey, let me take a second before I provide care and organize my thinking so that I provide safe and individualized care. That's the key word, individual, using evidence-based practice. That's all it is. There's an acronym that we use. It's ADPI. You'll hear that floating around your school, I'm sure. It stands for Assessment, Diagnosis, Planning, Implementation, and Evaluation. There are five steps to the nursing process. So you work these all the time kind of in a circular motion. You're going to go back to different pieces of it depending on the result that you get from your specific plan and implementation. What I mean when I say that you do this every single day is in your real life, you know, you're using the steps of the nursing process minus the medical jargon. So in order to prove this to you, I want to ask you to give me 48 hours of your time. I want you to do this very simple thing for two days, and I promise you, with this kind of immersion learning, you're going to think a lot differently about the nursing process when the 48 hours is up. Here's what I mean. Um, as soon as you wake up in the morning, I want you to begin to think about every single thing you do in your day from the perspective of the nursing process. And I want you to kind of lay that template of the nursing process, ad pi, over the top of your thinking as you go. So you're going to be running this tape in your head or out loud, I don't really care, um, that lists the steps of the nursing process and how you're utilizing them in your everyday life, all right? Here's an example. I'm going to wake up first thing in the morning. I'm going to go and get some coffee. I'm in the shower and I notice that my stomach is really growling. I am super hungry. Well, how do I know I'm hungry? Because my stomach is growling? Um, because I haven't eaten since the night before? Maybe I'm a little bit shaky and my blood sugar is low? Those are all just ways that I am assessing the situation the same way you would with a patient. That's the first step of the nursing process. Assessment, right? So the next thing I'm going to do when I'm standing there in the shower, maybe when I'm getting dressed or whatever, is I'm going to think, what do I need to do about this? I'm going to diagnose the situation. I'm hungry, that's all. So let's make a plan. Mm, I'm in a hurry. I'm on my way out the door to school. I don't have a lot of time to fix breakfast, so I'm going to grab a bagel and a banana um, on my way out the door. I get halfway to school, and I'm going to begin to implement my plan, which is a bagel and a banana. I have eaten my bagel and banana. I am implementing my plan and now I'm done and my stomach is still growling that means that I'm evaluating the situation now mm, am I still hungry do I need to give my food a little bit of time to settle do I have any time to be able to go run and get something else do I just need a cup of coffee um, whatever I'm evaluating the situation I may choose to circle back and get another snack on the way to class or I may just decide that I've taken care of it you see how easy that was? I assessed, I diagnosed, I planned, I implemented, and I evaluated. Just like you would do if you're looking at a patient situation, but you do it in your own life every day. What clothes you're going to wear, what choices you're going to make for the food you eat, the things that you're going to say to people, the way that you're going to study nursing, um, everything. I mean, I, just use this. Use this process, please, as you walk through your day. For two days, assess, diagnose, plan, implement, and evaluate every single thing you do. When you're finished, here's what's going to happen. You're going to have rooted these concepts inside your brain in a way that is just really unforgettable. You will not ever forget that you're doing it, and you're not going to feel like it's some super scary thing that you just don't 
uh, possess the brain cells to kind of grasp. And once you've really rooted it in these things that are very familiar to you in ways that are relevant, you will be able to transition that into these brand new things with the fancy pants nursing knowledge that you're learning. Okay, so um, that was a whole huge long way to say practice makes perfect. That's all I'm trying to say. you got to practice the nursing process in ways that aren't related to nursing so that you can root it in your brain and then you can apply all the nursing knowledge, medical jargon, stuff that you're learning. All right? Anyway, keep sending me specific questions about it if you want to. I just really didn't want for anybody to think that this was a really scary thing because it's not. I'll talk a little bit more in another video about how to use the nursing process to plan your study time and to actually study specific things. Okay, I'm going to show you it's a piece of cake. You've got this on lock. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.